to all of the intelligence, which Mr. Nunez could have access to, but has not. So you've seen it? I've seen it. I've seen not only the memo and the basis for the memo, but the uh, underlying documents. And? And what they're putting forth is a total misrepresentation. It is false. And they're putting it out there as if it is factual and then saying, well, we're going to show this to the American people, but we're not going to show the rebut rebuttal to it by the Democrats. Now, the Democrats have said rightfully we shouldn't be putting anything out unless it has been reviewed and redacted by the intelligence, the appropriate but they say agency. they don't want the DOJ to look at it because they are part of their concerns about how well, things were done during the campaign. The DOJ is only one part of the intelligence community. Hmm. The intelligence community is vast. It's the CIA, the DNA, uh, DNI, the uh, uh, hmm. uh, National Defense. Uh, everybody has their element of it. And sources and methods must be protected. But not only that, I can't even reference some words that are in it because... Th that would be a violation of the confidentiality, the classified nature. Right. So this, again, putting this aside in terms of tit for tat, which you seem to, well, with all due respect to you, is trying to make it look like Democrats versus, it isn't about that. It's about our national security. And our president of the United States is the commander in chief. And he should stop this immediately. He should stop. You think he's not going to release the memo? He says he's going to. He hasn't even probably seen it, but he's going to release it. In, in fact, he should be saying if no release should ever happen without the agencies of the, dem, of the intelligence community reviewing and redacting from public review. Who's going to share intelligence with us if they think it's up to Nunes, uh, uh, not even reading the stuff? And release you it. put a lot of this on Nunes, but that means you put it on Ryan. That's because right. Because the speaker That's picked right. him. Absolutely. Do you Absolutely. blame Paul Ryan for what's I, going I on? I think that he has a major responsibility in what I call a cover-up of what they are doing. It's really very sad. But again, it's a cover-up. Also, it's a distraction. What really we are trying to do right now is keep government open. Uh, they have a problem with that because they're ineffective and... Um, you uh, think they're doing this because they don't want the government to be open? Well, I think they're do, they're do, every, whatever they do is a distraction. So when, you never know what's But that's what in. they say. So help me understand this. I know you can't reveal classified no, information. No, I'm not doing it. Though, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to push you on that, but I will push you on this one idea. It is hard. I have to believe it's hard for the American people to have faith that anybody in this city where we are right now is out for the truth and not out for politics. And I can understand why they want it all released. Congresswoman, I can understand why they want it all out, because they say, you know what, we can't trust you guys. Let us read it. Let us figure it out. You can redact the names. You can make it safe enough for us to look at it, because they say the same thing about you, no. that the Russia investigation, there's no collusion. You guys are pushing the ball to political advantage, to stymie the president. And they talk about this memo like it should have been in the Raiders of the Lost Ark, this thing, that this is the holy grail of the truth about what was happening during the campaign. And it points the finger at the Democrats and the FBI. Well, let me just say this. Uh, we're not going to become them, the Republicans, because they are totally irresponsible in this regard. We're talking about the intelligence community. We're not talking about some issue that we're having a fight about. We're talking about our national security. As I said, when I've been on that committee, I had been on that committee a long time and serve uh, as leader in, involved in those issues. And this is not to not to be politicized. This is about fact. It's about evidence, about data. It's not about making up a false memo based on a false premise that the chairman hasn't even read and then to put it out there. I so give you that he about, has, if he hasn't read it, that's a problem. We'll take, we'll take that then it would, up how with can you, How can you decide if you haven't read it that the, it should be revealed to the American people? Fair point, but what I'm saying is this. Are you saying, without revealing anything that's confidential right, or classified, so I obviously. I can't do that. I get it, but you're saying that if the American people see this memo, and they read it and they think about it, that they could not reasonably conclude no, that there can't. was any problem with what happened during the election? Not. Of course not. The, the, well, then why are they so anxious to release it? Because it's not even true. It's not even true. They have made up a memo that isn't even true. And they're lying to the American people. So what are you going to do about it? Well, we, we have put forth a memo, which we reluctantly did, but said don't put this out unless it is reviewed and redacted. That now it won't be out when theirs is out. Doesn't that tell you something? The Republicans say, we want the American people to see our memo, but we're voting against showing the American people the Democratic memo. But again, let's enlarge this issue. This, let me not get engaged in this Republican-Democratic thing. This is about security or not. It's about 
people in our country who work so hard to protect the American people in the intelligence community and to be frivolous with uh, their identity or roads that can lose to lead to them. About You're countries. saying that you think it puts lives at stake if this well, memo I'm comes out? I'm saying that intelligence that is necessary for other countries to share with us, why would they put it at the mercy of Dennis Nunes, who doesn't even read the memo, and say the American people should see it? And the American people, with they have their own jobs to do. They're not there saying, now I'm going to redact a memo because I know what is true, I know what is false. No, I'm saying you guys redact what you need to redact, but then let the American people decide. But they, that's, not, that's not the way intelligence works. You, you, that's not the way it works. It's not a question. This isn't a subject about what's in the tax bill or what's not in the tax bill. This is a question of what is important to our national security to be secure. So, and again, let me take it to another subject, because they do these things as a distraction. It's totally irresponsible. There isn't one person in the intelligence community recognizing the sacrifice that our men and women in the intelligence community make for our country's security that would say this is not reckless. Christopher Wray, got, the director of the FBI, obviously, recently selected by President Trump, he got the memo. Uh, he could have come out and said, this is reckless, don't release it. And, 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 let me just say this with all due respect. You really don't know what you're talking about right now. But okay. did Christopher Ray look at it or no? I can't say whether he did or not, but he did not. He's, in order to redact, you have to have the people who know the I'm not saying redact. Fact. I'm saying if these concerns are so sharp and obvious. Well, they've already said not to release it. They already said not to. The Justice Department already said it would be reckless to release it. You said that earlier. In your the day. DOJ said it. We've been reporting it. Department Absolutely. But now said. there's this word that is somewhat of a compromise. Well, wait a minute. I want to tell you something. Let me just say this. The Republican Party has, as I said, crossed over to cover up. They're deadly afraid of the Russia investigation. We don't want the investigation to be anything but best based on the law and the facts and let the investigation proceed. That's the right thing to do for our country. We have to be respectful of law. We have to be respectful of intelligence. Absolutely. And, the rest. and what they're doing is reckless in regard to both. But the fact is also that it is a distraction from the fact that they've passed a tax bill that gives 83% of the benefits to the top 1%. They'd like to distract from that. 86 million middle-class Americans will pay more in taxes. One and a half trillion to now up to two trillion, including uh, interest, will be added to the national debt. Uh, that they do give this gift to corporate America at the expense of our children's future. They don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about the fact that they uh, have what, what they've done in terms of the president put forth a ridiculous memo on, uh, well, I don't know if you put it forth or they leaked it, on in, uh, infrastructure, which doesn't even go where, near what our country needs. Uh, they are uh, doing bad things in terms of Im immigration and the rest. They're, what they do is they give you a nugget. They say, here's what we're doing on, on uh, immigration. Isn't that wonderful? While it looks so pretty and while they do very unpretty things behind mm -hmm. the scene. Same thing with uh, um, tax bill. Isn't this a nice little thing we're giving you while we give... Uh, all right, uh, I want to take on each of those things, things but hold on. And, and same thing again with... Uh, with uh, uh, intelligence. We're going to show you a memo. All right. This is ridiculous. All right. I it's hear you. Beyond I, ridiculous. I want to look at those other issues you just itemized yeah. from the perspective yeah. of what Democrats could have done and did not do and should do now. However, what, what would that be? Well, I'll get to it. I'll get okay, to it. We'll hold get on a to second. It, this, this is pretty urgent right now, and it, it's got yeah. you know it's got us a little on edge. So, yeah. if this memo, if the president says, "Okay, I say let the people decide," uh, my guys seem that they're fine with it, and it comes out, what can you do? To counter a narrative which they must, they clearly believe no, 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 is they're, going they're to be very persuasive to people. No, no, no. So well, what do you if do? You, if you lie, have no allegiance to the truth, are totally disrespectful to your responsibility to the security of our country, you can persuade people of anything. It's happened before. So how do you counter this? Well, the, well, hopefully with the.